Okay, I don't know why no one is talking about this, but this is probably one of the best AI coding agent out there. And this is not even a standalone AI coding editor like Cursor or Windsurf. This is just an extension of VS Code, just like Klein or Roo Code. But in terms of functionalities, this is far, far superior than Klein and Roo Code. And in fact, it is better than Cursor and Windsurf in so many ways. I'm talking about Augment Code, which is a VS Code extension. And yeah, this video is not sponsored by Augment Code. But yeah, if they are watching this video, please do sponsor. I knew about Augment Code before, but I never took it seriously because I was just like so in love with cursor and I'm still in love with cursor but just like every month I exhausted all of the cursor credits in just like first 10 days so I was just like looking for a better reliable second option after cursor before we talk further about augment code and then like how good augment code is there is a catch that I'll tell you in a minute but first let's just see what augment code is capable of so for last couple of days I'm actually using augment code in my most of cursor projects by the way you can use augment code inside cursor as your cursor plugin as well so you don't have to like use vs code you can just like use it inside your cursor environment but i'm using it in vs code because i just want to like keep that separate so there are a lot of client projects that i work on i cannot show you that but i can actually just show you a simple demo that i prepared for this particular video so what i did i just like gave it a simple prompt the prompt was i want to build a motion clone you know motion that ai planner kind of thing my main aim is to develop all of the functionalities and for now let's just build the ai daily planner that works like motion and after that i provided it open router api key that i wanted it to like use as an api key for like all of the ai functionalities and then i provided it with the documentation so with just like this simple prompt just have a look at the amount of work that it has done so first of all just like uh, went through like its agent just uh, went through the directory just read the directory after that it just like read the package.json file to have a look at what dependencies are installed and after that it just like read uh, that source directory then web fetch it had to like go through that motion website to understand more about it then it went through open router api key after that it started creating like the plan for itself so the plan the first thing the core feature was ai task planner after that there was an assistant after that there was task management project management ai integration and then dashboard but now just have a look all of the components and the amount of code that it has written in one single prompt so first of all it just like created this reusable components after that it just like started creating all of these different components then it created these services components uh context state pages different different pages that we needed in this particular app and after that some app configuration files and environment variables and then after that just like did all of this work you can see i'm just like scrolling down and it is still going on and then just like carries on and on and then like finish all of the features completes all of the tasks that it decided for itself and then after that everything was ready and now this is what it has built based on a simple prompt with ai integration and everything it has created this task functionality where we can add a task after that there is a ai daily planner where we can actually generate a plan and then it has this ai task manager where i can just like ask you to generate anything and then it can generate a task and then there are these different tasks that i just created i can edit any of these tasks and then there is this calendar view as well so this is how this calendar views looks like and now this is just like another basic example of what this kind of ai code editors are capable of but i'm actually using it in more complex projects for more complex functionalities but the catch that i mentioned before is its pricing so if you go to augment code and then just go to its pricing page so you'll find out that it cost $50 per month. It used to be $30 before, like a couple of months before, but now it is $50 per month and that's its basic plan. Then there's a pro plan, which is $100. Then there's max plan, which is $250. Still using it for two days and my 12 days are left. And on this free trial i have like kind of exploited it so much i have used it so much already and based on its performance i can tell you that even 50 dollars looks kind of cheaper to me literally i know like but still it is more than double the price of cursor but when it comes to like functionalities i'm not missing cursor at all i mean it understands your code base in a better way it makes less errors it automatically fixes most of the potential errors that you can face and then of course it is using cloud sonnet 4 as well the only problem that i see here is i'm unable to switch to different models so let's suppose inside cursor we can actually choose different models we can switch to maybe like a max mode we can choose to like a cloud opus 4 or any of like the older models but in here i don't have that freedom in here and that actually makes me kind of uncomfortable because inside cursor most of the times i use cloud sonnet 3.7 because that i consider most reliable model so far so if it is using cloud sonnet 4 amazing but i still want like more freedom to choose which a model should i use to write code but overall functionality wise in terms of like understanding your code base it performs better so based on my observation if cursor is like a junior programmer so consider 
augment code as mid level programmer it performs better when it comes to like understanding the context of your project when understanding your code base it does not hallucinate that much and it makes comparatively less errors so just go ahead and give it a try and just try like the free plan because free plan for 14 days you can use it as much as you want you can exploit it as much as you want. but i'm sure if you're a cursor user you are definitely going to love it just let me know your thoughts in comment section i see you next video bye bye